Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in with me for this Confessions. It's been a while since I've done Confessions and I've been getting a lot of requests from you all. Some a while back, some recently, and I'm here today to give you a Confessions. Um, so yeah, you guys, I'm excited to give you this. Hopefully, you know, it's not too crazy, but here you go. Some of you call it soap operas. <laughs> this is a soap opera one. Um, but yes, for those who are new to the channel, I am a psychic medium as well. Um, and a seer. So for those who don't know how I read. I don't use any cards or any tools. So um, you could check me out in live videos here, Facebook, or even reviews uh, to see the accuracy or or just to see how I read. Um, you could see me in action on live video reading people. Okay. Um, and yeah, please do not take anything personal here. Okay. Do not take anything personal here because this is a general message. This is not a personal message. So if I'm not reading for you specifically, then you can't take anything personal. If you do, you just have a personal issue, okay? But this here is a general message. Of course, some things may resonate with you, some things may not. For some of you, everything may resonate with you. So please just take whatever resonates and leave the rest. Um, let's get into it. Because this is your confessions. <laughs> oh man, y'all. Let's see what spirit want to provide for this confession. What is it for this confession, spirit? Please show us a message for this confession. Please show us a message for this confession. I hate it here. Dang. Someone hate it. It's like, I'm getting the energy. I hate it here because I'm not with you. It's like, I hate it here. It's not that, you know, maybe it's not their situation. It could be a part of the situation, who they're around, who they're dealing with, the environment. But also it could be that longing for your energy, for you, for that love. So for some of you, this is a person that you are um, you could be distant from, possibly. Show us more on this energy. They know they effed up. Hmm. So someone know they effed up. So yeah, you distant, all right. You're you and this person are not together. Um, if you are on talking terms, this person could have done something where where they know they effed up, and they hate it in their in their current situation because they know if they have done right by you in the get go, the beginning, then they wouldn't be in the situation that they they are in now. So they could have been dealing with someone. Um, someone that was just a waste of time. It was just sex. It was just, you know, it, it was interference. Okay. Interference with the connection with you. And they're realizing what they had with you or what they could have had with you. Let's get more on this energy for this confessions. Because this is your confessions. They wanted to come out. But it didn't. Let's see more. Show us more on this energy. Spirit for this confession. They want to get you pregnant. Alright, so some of you, they want to get you pregnant. Pregnancy, pregnancy could be on someone's mind. Um, someone could be pregnant. Show us more on this energy. You are the only one there for me. Show us more on this energy for this confession. Karmic was pregnant, but I pushed her into having an abortion. So someone could, someone else could have been pregnant. And they're like, damn, I wish it was this person. I wish it was you, you know. But, um, yeah, so someone could have got an abortion. Maybe you don't even know about this, but that could be heavy on this person's mind. And they want to confess this to you. They're kind of paranoid to confess this to you. But um, it could have been another situation 
with someone else for sure and i picked up on that before this karmic even came out just with the first two cards i hated here i know they effed up so yeah because no they effed up could have been many other things but you know what i picked up and i pay attention to the energy and what i'm given so yeah this person definitely was dealing with someone else that was uh meaningless um that did not serve any purpose like this person was just a a, a waste of time and they're realizing this because they they had a good thing with you or like i said they could have had a good thing with you um and they're realizing that you are the only one there for them you are the only one that was real with them you were the only one that they're just realizing like damn i had i messed up on a good thing you know and maybe it is a situation where you're still talking to this person it could be still some type of communication but it's some things this person needs to release and get off their chest they are wanting to tell you how much you make them happy you and this person may have shared some um memorable times um or just spending quality time together, period. That energy, con that connection with you two energies, um, it brought happiness to this person. And possibly even to you. Show us more on this energy for this confession. Jail. Someone is in, I feel like this is like jail as in they feel stuck because they don't know how to confess this to you they don't know or they don't know how to move about this situation they don't know where to go or what to do but they know they want you so that jail could be that self-imprisonment um for some of you this person may end up going to jail or they have went to jail something significant about jail could be um pertaining to this person show us more the karmic know a lot about you. Yeah, so whoever they were dealing with, whoever that they did mess around with sexually, um, this person got the scoop on you. However they found out about you, a karmic gonna do their research and they're gonna find out who this person is dealing with. When they really want this person, this person really don't want them. That's just how it is. So <laughs> this karmic definitely did their research. They they uh got on their inspector gadget. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah so this person definitely d dug up some information on you however it was however they found out show us more on this energy for this confessions someone could be a virgo show us more on this energy for this confessions oh we got x still x still wants them and then we have pregnancy traps so i feel like this person who who was uh, who ended up getting an abortion possibly mm. it could have been a pregnancy trap like uh yeah this person could have been trying to get this person now it could be the masculine that was trying to get someone or the masculine could have trapped you with a pregnancy take it how they resonate okay but we do have a karmic here a karmic that was pregnant um and i say was because they're not currently pregnant but then someone else could be currently pregnant or they want to get you pregnant so it's just a lot of like pregnancy up in here let's get more on this energy for uh i was about to say <laughs> for this karmic situation <laughs> well basically it is um please show us more on this confessions x stalks me so the x is stalking this person and you okay Show us more on this energy. High sex drive. Yes, I got that in the beginning. Like this person could have ha had a high sex drive dealing with multiple people. Not only this karmic, but others. But the thing is, whoever this person, this karmic situation is, this person definitely didn't let go. It's like they put their claws on this person and said, <laughs> made me think of, you ain't going nowhere. Oh, if y'all know about them. Uh, don't be a menace while you're in the hood. <laughs> Never saw such a part. I had to say the whole title, even though it's long as heck. But um, yeah. So this person was definitely trying to um attach themselves to this person, and they this person hated. They hated there. They want you. Whew. Yeah. See, yes, lust put me away, but I love you. It's basically what I was saying. Toxic, toxic, toxic. I miss you. I miss my family. Or they want a family or something about like maybe, maybe you know, like I said, you could be pregnant or you possibly already have a child or have children with this person. And they miss you. They miss. 
They said nightmares of the karmic. It's drama here. Oh my gosh. Protecting you from this karmic. They threaten to hurt you. Whew, I keep dreaming of you. I want to marry you. So this one, this person wants something serious with you. Um, whether it's marriage, they said they want to marry you, or they just want to commit to you. It's like, man, I'd rather push everyone out the way to have this with you because I know it's real with you. Show us more on this energy. Show us more on this energy for this confessions. So either the karmic could be a Virgo or uh, or the divine could be a Virgo, male or female. But it's a Virgo energy here. So whether sun, moon, rising, or Venus, um, I'm really getting like more of sun, moon, or rising though. So what's the message here for this confession spirit? this energy please show us a message on this confessions show us a message please put it on a show so someone could be putting on a show like they good maybe you know they, yeah it's time to confess but instead this person is hiding their feelings or not really expressing everything not expressing their truth um show us more this karmic could be putting on a show though as well let's get more we're gonna get we're gonna yeah it's the karmic plotting oh yeah they plotting this person is very sneaky they putting on a show they're plotting against you or trying to plot some type of situation okay but this why while this karmic is plotting and stalking you in this person your person is coming back towards you they're about to return to you. They're planning. They're setting a date. Someone could be at a distance for real. Um, someone may have to take a plane. As shown here, they're coming back. Return. They're planning. Okay? Setting a date. Someone could be arriving um, maybe sometime on the 14th, 15th, uh, 16th, like somewhere around that time or sometime. Could be soon. Like, so wait a minute. Because that's next week. So sometime next week, possibly. Hmm. Someone was breadcrumbing you. They was giving you just enough to keep you. And now they're frustrated because they're drained without you. They're realizing that you are half of them, half of their soul. This person is realizing how deep their connection is with you. And this person love your boobs. This person could be a booby lover. They want your attention. They're desiring you. Um, it's like, yeah, someone could be. It's. Hmm. Okay. Let's see more. Uh. Spirit, show us a message on this energy for this confessions. What else? Please show us what else. Something about a sister. A sister or a stepsister. I don't know. House. Maybe someone is uh, over a sister house, a stepsister house, or something like that. Maybe that's where they're at and they hate it there. They want to be with you. Someone tried to sacrifice you to obtain your wealth. This could be the karmic. Okay, they're going in a whole other direction here. Something significant about a cousin and someone you could be finding out that someone could be passing away. Um, take it however it resonates. It's not every one message, so please don't get alarmed. And, you know, but for some, you you will be receiving the news that someone is passing away. All right. Show us more on this energy for this confessions, because this is your confession. Show us a message for this confession spirit. What else? What else do you want them to know on this confessions? Nine of Wands. They want you to hold your ground. Stand your ground. Stand ten toes down. Because the, you're dealing with... Uh, <laughs> wow, I just heard satanic. So someone is just devilish, evil. 
whoever this karmic is. So they they will plot out however they have to conquer this person to stop being with you or to not come towards you. That's what they would do. You know, I'm not seeing progress. I mean, I ain't gonna say progress. I'm not seeing it be successful because it's just not meant to be. Show us more. Yeah, you're about to have a new beginning with someone. This could be the person that's returning to you. They don't want to, it's like, they could have been breadcrumbing you in the past, but it's like, I don't want to do that anymore. This person is stressing out with the nine of swords. It's like they're, they're paranoid, like I said in the beginning. They feel burdened. They feel burdened from this, from the choices that they made. But this should just teach someone a lesson. Um, someone is wanting to return to you. As mentioned, and it's still showing again, someone is definitely wanting to return. Mm. Someone is wanting to return to you. Um, they want to express their feelings as well. Just as will be served. Someone may have a court case coming up as well. Show us more. They want to give you some type of offer because they know... This third party got in the way of something that was special. I don't know. I don't I don't know if this person gonna be completely honest or tell you everything. I feel like they will be honest, but they may not tell you everything. They may leave out some things. So yeah, I don't know. Because it's it, they're too up in their head, whoever this is. But they need to just be straight up and tell you everything. So you could they could just lay everything on the table and then that way. You know, you and this person could you figure out okay, do you want to deal with this or you not or you don't? You know, by this person leaving some things out and just telling you, you know, surface level and then you make a choice based on that, then it's not real. It's not because if you find out certain things that this person did not tell you, then it may cause you to not want to deal with this person. So it's best to just be honest and just share everything. So that decision could be made and at least that decision will be an honest decision. It will be, uh, it would definitely, if you decide to come together still, you know, regardless of what happened, especially with this karma, okay, regardless of the situation, if everything was spoke, I mean, was brought to light, if everything was brought to light and you made your decision, that's your decision. Whether you stay or you go. Um, for some of you, you never would, you possibly wasn't even with this person. Um, but they're realizing that you are a better fit for them. Yeah, someone is seeing you like with. Yeah, someone could have been dealing with several people. Way too many people, and this karmic was the one to get this. Per Someone is in love. This person is in love with you. Yeah, they're in love with you. They want a family with you. They want happiness with you. Um, I feel like this person is, is fearful that you may walk away from them, or you may give up on them, or something like that. That's why they need to get on it. Just do what you got to do. Whoever this is, just do what they got to do. Speak their truth. Come to you, speak their truth. And, yeah. Go from there. Did I do this back? Yes. Alright. What else, Spirit? Please show us more on this energy. Yeah, we even got Virgo. Yeah, it's, someone could be a Virgo, for sure. And this reading, for sure. Heavy on a Virgo, for sure. Someone could be dealing with another earth sign as well. But the main sign that's sticking out is Virgo. Um, and that Virgo, like I said, it could be the karmic. It don't necessarily have to be you or that person. Or someone have that placement. Maybe this person don't know that their moon is Virgo or their rising is a Virgo. Alright. Or maybe you don't know that you're a person. So take it however it resonates. Let's see more on this energy for this confession, spirit. We have mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. So, 
I feel like the mirror in each other, I feel like you could have feelings for this person just as much. This person have feelings for you, deep feelings. You have feelings for this person. Maybe you're just on a waiting game. Like, okay, what you gonna do? But eventually you're gonna get tired of waiting because um, that's just not what a divine do. For a not long period of time, it's like, yeah, we're patient. But at the same time, I'm not about to wait all my life. Like, you know, <laughs> you're gonna have to do something, make a move. So someone here um, needs to make a move. But you are marrying each other due to feelings, okay? We do have heart with the key. Welcome in love, meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together, perfect. So so you and this person could have a perfect connection. It's just this person needs to get rid of their old ways or dealing with these karmic situations. Show us more on this energy. Show us more on this energy for uh, this confession. Because this is your confession. <laughs> anything else spirit thank you let's see we have the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth so yeah you and this person is about to level up to another uh connection like, yeah it's ending we have the coffin here at the bottom of the deck ending bring new beginnings growth change liberation transition so a lot of you there's an ending this person is going through an ending with someone else and the the new love or the 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 uh new phase is you is between you and them so yeah it looked like a new connection between you and this person that's why i said i feel like you and this person may not be together or wasn't together if you were maybe you were dealing with this person you had good times but you never made it a commitment this is that type of energy here and now they're due to dealing with you and dealing with this karmic dealing with other people they're realizing what real genuine love is and that's why their their heart opened up more for you so someone is realizing that they love you and want more with you and only you um and they're willing to end and close out other people other cycles other connections in order to have this new beginning with you Spirit, please show us a message. Show us more on this connection. What is this connection about? Please show us. Show us more on this energy. Time apart. Yeah, you and this person is apart. But again, someone is coming back. They're returning. Um, yes, yeah, definitely a separation here. I feel like you're yearning for them. They're yearning for you. You know, we have unexpected connection, opposites attract. So you and this person could be different in a lot of different ways, but also similar in a lot of different ways because we have the mirroring each other and then also we have the opposites attract. So I definitely feel like it's a difference, but also it's a lot of similarities. Um, yeah, you and this person is coming together. We have unexpected connection. So like I said, I feel like you weren't together or it wasn't, it didn't go to the level of a commitment. But uh, someone could have unexpectedly uh, figured out or just realized that they really genuinely love you. And they're realizing, dang, you know, their heart chakra open. Like, whoa. So, yeah. This person is wanting to return, wanting to come back. Show us more on this energy for this confession, spirit. Lasting love. This is your true love. Okay. And what else, spirit? Anything else? We have freedom. Yeah, someone is setting themselves free from a toxic ex, toxic connections, karmics. Yeah. Um, healthy space and room to breathe. You and this person, maybe this separation definitely was needed for this person to think. For you to think. Like what it is that you really want, you truly want, you know? And yes, y'all have angels. You have spirit guides that's assisting this connection. We have magnetism. There is a gravitational pull towards each other. So, yeah, it's no stopping this connection. 
marriage. And I was just about to say, I was just about to repeat what they had mentioned prior, what is uh, in the beginning, they want to marry you. And then as soon as I said that, then I mean, was thinking of that, the car came out marriage. So yeah, this person definitely went long term with you. Wedding bells are ringing. This person wants forever with you. They don't want you out of their life ever. Ever. <laughs> They're like, no, I can't. This is not, I can't allow this to get away or end. Love language, physical touch. A tender touch means so much. This person wants your touch. You want their touch. And it's coming. Yep, I said it's coming. <laughs> and then we got rekindle. Rekindle. An old flame returns. Absolutely. We got disguise. Some elements of this relationship are hidden. That's why I say everything needs to be brought to the table. This person needs to be open and honest and just share everything so you can go forward honestly. That's the best. So you can know, like, okay, what I'm dealing with and what, you know, what has happened has happened as the past. But at least bring it to the table so... I don't have to find out any other way because if I find out any other way I'm not gonna look at you to say I'm a I'm a I'm a look at you as dishonest and that's the words so this person needs to be open and honest with you and vice versa be open and honest with this person lay everything out on the table how you feel or what has happened what they done what what has happened or transitioned due to the connection with you whether you are together as a commitment or you were just dealing with each other period dating you know or just dealing with each other and within that connection what did they do wrong like just be super honest honestly man it's the best so just do that whoever i'm speaking to uh whether it's you if you if this is your situation you know you got to be honest you got to open up and tell this person some things just do that you know if, if you're being real with yourself you know, we all have times in life where, you know, we got to be, everyone had a situation where they had to learn from, okay? We have soulmate. You have found your romantic counterpart. This is your soulmate, okay? You and someone is coming together. Let's, let me see something. Let's see something. Let's see. Um... Spirit, show me the energy of the signs coming together. Did I use this deck? Nope. Show us the energy of the signs. The signs coming together. Who's coming together? It could be an Aries. Show us more. It could be an Aries or a Scorpio, uh, Pisces or Cancer. So, yeah, someone in a why this solo dolo? So it's a karmic. A karmic could be a Virgo. Please take it how it resonate. Because if you Virgo, you're like I ain't no karmic. <laughs> I mean, it may not be you. Okay, so please. But we do have Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and Virgo energy here. Someone was definitely deceptive about, you know, whatever this is. They were deceptive. They know they did something wrong. And it caused this, it caused the delay between you and their, you and them. Between y'all connection. So, yeah. They kind of feel bruised in her or left out in the cold. Or even could be having a financial issue because of, uh, because of how they treated you. And it's like, this person may not have like treated you bold or wrong but due to this being a divine connection if this person overlooked you or break from you in some type of way and this was your person this person still would get that karma that whooping like hold up this is your person we granted you this person and you're gonna just leave them out in the cold or you're just gonna breadcrumb them give them a little bit just to keep them but this is who we put you together with who you're supposed to grow with and build a family with or just you know however this is you're supposed to be together and this person had to go through whatever they went through with this karmic to realize that and now they're wanting this back they want it back 
I feel like you want it back too. Mm-hmm. You are. You loving this person. You like, yeah, come back. Just come back to me. We got healing connection. Your romance will transform your life. That was right after a uh, soulmate. The soulmate came out. Um, nat natural evolution. Listen, you guys. This is burning desire. Yeah. Guided steps to great love. Follow the path of ascension. Bonding. As you get to know each other, you're dis you discover many things in common. Like I said, that's what I was getting with the mirror. Even though you got the card due to uh, opposites, opposites attract. I had mentioned, you know, even though the opposites attract came out, I feel like you have a lot in common due to that mirror energy. And sure enough, with this bonding, they're saying that um, as you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. And again, as I mentioned several times throughout this reading, honest communication. Expect a heart to heart conversation. You need to be open and honest with your feelings, how you feel about this person, and so do this person. It just needs to be all out there. Like, just be straight up. Straight up, down, left, and right, okay? Ooh, we Yes, this is going someplace, okay? Just know this connection will be going someplace if you just be honest with your feelings and not run away from it or um, break from it. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh. I want to give y'all some, hold on, give y'all some letters and some charms. I'm going to push, I mean, I'm going to turn the mute on. I mean, yeah, I'm going to mute it because it's really loud with the shells. So. Right. Someone name. So these uh the letters could be either an initial for someone's name, first name, middle name, last name. Um the letters could resonate with other things that maybe come to mind about this person. And whatever come to my mind due to the letter, I will mention that as well. Um but we do have the letter P as in Paul. We have A, C as in Chris, or no, because sometimes K, but C as in Cat or um, Carl. We have U, O, Q, Z, M, W, X, I, K, V. Um, let me see if I see any words in this as well. We have pack. Someone is packing up to come towards you, I feel, or you are packing up to go towards someone. Um, someone name could be Zoe. Um, Someone wants you to keep in touch or vice versa. They don't want this. They don't want a separation between you and them anymore. Someone is releasing the ex. Someone could have a um, have an ox uh, Chinese zodiac sign. Um, pick. This person is picking you now or realizing you are the one all along. Um. Yeah, they're realizing they slept on you or they was just playing with you. Playing with a good thing. Now they're realizing that you're the best thing and they don't want to lose this. Um, Alright, that's pretty much, that. pretty much it with the letters. I just heard City Hall. I mean, maybe someone want to go to the City Hall to get married or something. Like, 
like, look, I don't care where we get married. I just want to marry you. Yes, yeah, someone is in those feelings. Like, I just don't care. As long as we together forever, I don't want to ever lose you. All right, let's get some charms. All right, we have Leo. Someone, um, zodiac sign could be a Leo, or someone could have Leo placements. We have Cancer, um, and we have Sagittarius. We have Pisces. We have Aries. We have Scorpio. We have Virgo. They want someone to be practical. I feel like someone could have been imagining coming together with you for some time now. And now they really, they really ready to take action. Um, or you are. Someone is highly intuitive. They could have been, someone could have been having dreams. I think, did we get something like that? Like someone could have been having dreams about you. Someone having dreams about you and having nightmares about the comic. Something about a cat could be significant. Maybe someone have a cat or like cats or kittens. Um, we have an owl. I feel like you're you're being protected. Um, you're being washed over. But I'm also getting like someone is very gifted. Someone could um, have the vision of sight. Um, we have a tree here. Someone is wanting to build with you. What this tree is like, you know, building um, a family building upon their family tree as well someone may look at you as a star or or this person is a star or or something could be significant about stars someone could also have like a tattoo of a scar a scar a star um yeah something is definitely significant about cats maybe you you could have been seeing cats around your home lately or um just wherever you go you just seen a cat and you're like why well, i keep seeing cats yeah that's a message pertaining to this message. Like, this is definitely a connection here. Yeah, someone is, um, someone could be getting, like, readings or, yeah, getting readings on you or getting readings. Or someone could be a palm reader as well. Um, we have a butterfly here. This is giving me, like, this, this relationship is evolving to the next phase. As mentioned in the card that came out as well. So, yeah, things are leveling up between you and this person or it's meant to. It's meant to level up. You and this person is going places. I mean, with the star here, the butterfly, I, I just feel like something big could come out of this connection if you both are open and honest and, and, and just get ready to build. We have the, um, what is this, a unicorn? Yeah, I feel like this connection is magical. Like, what, unexpected, what was it? Un, yeah, unexpected connection. So, yeah, it's like a magical connection. Like, you come together, like, dang, out of all the people that I've dealt with, you're the only one that I really, truly desire. Or you're the only one that I um, dream of, that I think of, that, you know, something like that. It's just deep. It's a deep connection between you and someone. Just make sure you uh protecting this connection because it's definitely this uh, karmic excess plotting. But I'm also getting, like, this person could be... Uh, wanting to surprise you or just come like because i'm getting like the airplane right next to the, the plot and like someone could be um just thinking about surprising you or something someone may like grapes or something significant about grapes between you and this person maybe this person like grapes you like grapes or this person fed you grapes you fed them grapes or um maybe you need some grapes okay but that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this confessions. Definitely comment below. I don't care. Comment something. Comment on this video. What resonate with you? Um, also, comment your zodiac sign if your sign was mentioned here. Also, um, let me know if you want me to continue to do more and more and more confessions. So, yeah. That'll determine if I will. And also, um, I do 
in the future plan on doing like the zodiac sign the main zodiac sign that come out in a reading i may do like a weekly message for that all right but that hasn't been confirmed just yet but if y'all do what's so easy is just by commenting and liking the video get this flow in the algorithm that would be great so you know that would definitely push me to give you more you you give to me i give to you you know all right let's make this balance <laughs> all right you guys but until next time many blessings